way to get at bats, right? To get people to take a look at you. And uh, it's a competitive space and it takes a lot of work to make Google ads really work well for you. Uh, particularly if you are in anything that is remotely AI related these days, <laughs> like, yeah, right. Everything's got AI in it with, you know, my, my cheeseburger has AI now, like everything has AI. So you have to be really careful about how you execute a Google ads campaign, but that is really a way to get in front of people that are interested in what you do so as opposed to kind of the throwing darts approach of marketing where i'm just just throwing out everywhere google ads really are when done well targeting people that are actually interested in solving the problems that you can help them solve and so we see often a lot of really good success with that it's you know, not super creative, if you will, but it is a way to get in front of the right people for sure. But sometimes that's that's the things that we miss, right, is I see a lot of people who are looking for the next big thing in marketing, virtual reality marketing, um, you know, mixed reality marketing. And then we forget that we can do things like, you know, send somebody a, a direct mail box with something that relates to them and their business that's from us that at least get them to look at our website and and spend some time so sometimes do you just not forgetting you know that you can pick up the phone and ring your contacts and and people that you know rather than send them an email i forget that all the time and yet every time i pick up the phone and ring someone who i haven't spoke to in ages we have a really good conversation and nine times out of 10, some sort of business falls out of it, whether it's for me or them or somebody else. So I, I don't think not all marketing is sexy and exciting. Sometimes it's just about knowing that even, you know, I think even the insight that even in the AI space where you guys sit, technically sit, although I used to get wrong for calling conversational analytics AI, it's technically the only part is the is the transcribing, right? That's that's the way I got told. I'm not, I'm not allowed to use AI anyway. Other than, and I used to rail at companies that used AI otherwise. I'd be like, oh, we're different from them because we don't claim our technology has AI. It's not AI. It's just smart <laughs> logic and reasoning. And, um, you know, even in that space, you guys can be competitive with Google Ads, which most businesses might write off Google Ads assuming that they've got to spend thousands and thousands of pounds to be anywhere near competitive. But I think you can be creative even within that space. I'm not a Google Ads expert by any means. I, I don't even use them myself, right? I, I've never used pay-per-click, but I know people that swear by them and can drive immeasurable results by them. I think the fact that just that there's something there that you can look at the dashboard and immediately understand how successful they've been is really useful for a lot of businesses. I do think there's an element of creativity there that where you which words you're going after and, and how you spend that money on google ads is really the it's an art form that i don't think everybody should try and replicate themselves to be fair is that something Agreed. that you guys manage in house or is it something you outsource or yeah we outsource that you know we used to insource it but i think every business has mm -hmm. to recognize like what's the best use of your time uh the the people that you have in house are you utilizing them in the best way possible? And so, you know, we found a, a partner that has been doing Google ads for a long time. And, you know, I, I also think one of the things that I'm going to circle back to this, like it's somebody that we feel really comfortable with that understands our brand that, that we can trust and we have a relationship with them. And I think one of the things from a marketing standpoint that we see